participation with the pomp and the ceremony when the teams enter rather like gladiators walking into the arena ahead of battle sense of theatre his last match for his country replacing Milan Baros in attack out wide on the right Libor Sionko who scored the goal against Portugal in midweek Plashil down the left and a big following of course for uh, both these nations it's winner well, there's an angle here for a shot Plashil and here's Maciowski Well, that would have been a contender for a quickest goal ever at the European Championships. I remember Hack Jankulowski it is then. Well, they had two around the uh, back post. Libor Sionko was one of them. Just in behind Grigora. Oh, yellow card. First one shown to Mehmet Topal. Jankolovsky. Collar! Well, big chance for the big man. Not the uh, most comfortable of heights. Just had to stoop and in fact just try and... Tunchai. Shooting range. Tunchai! Well, the checks allowed him uh, perhaps a little too much room here. Better check. Public overhit really for Collar. Back in by Sionko. Slight miscue by Servet. Bachowski. Comfortable for the goalkeeper, really. Polak. It's quick and nippy. Then it Topal. Well off the target in truth. Tunchai Semi Nihat Now Sionko Good effort Really good effort Slight element of surprise there from Libo Sionko I'm not sure they thought he would help well, On Plashiel So Rosé now Running into uh, Mehmet Aurelio Upending the Turkish number 7 Tunchai's flick Outside here, Collar, Sionko in the middle, Collar! Advantage to the Czech Republic! The veteran striker! That's why he's in the 11 tonight! The power, the... Nihat once again with his free kick, Servet! Well, he does seem to have... And Jan Kolofsky has a chance to drive one towards goal. Collar again. He's on the end of everything. Another... Sabri makes the run. Nihat! Well, had to improvise, and it was a wonderfully acrobatic and flexible attempt by the Villarreal striker. Seeing Turkey... Step it up at the start of the second half. Here's Nihat. That's away by Rosinal. Just in the nick of time. Arda. Nihat in the middle along with Tunchai. Really positive, really urgent start to the second period. A little stumble. And the uh, little flick. Tunchai. Trying to just uh, redirect the ball on, but check well position Alter is there Arda still for Turkey Arda still out comes check and scoops it off the forehead of Nihat joined by Kasim in the middle Arda 
important catch for Czech. And the way that the conditions are worse, that one more goal would kill off this match. Collar's away for the Czechs. Can he wrap it up here? Yank Collar! Didn't even hit the target, rather surprisingly. Czech Republic beyond Collar. Plashiel! It's Yaroslav Plashiel for the Czech Republic. Half an hour to go. And despite all of Turkey's... They're starting to look a little desperate. Kazim deflected. Well, there's Emre Asik. I mentioned the uh, gap for the Czechs. Turkey may be on their last legs. It's a chance. It's up the post. Emre Asik. And somehow smothered. Polak at the last. And Volkan just threw himself on top of it. Maybe they can here. Hamid. They need a shot on target. They've got a goal. And the man who was the hero against Switzerland the other night is the scorer. There is still time. Arda pulls it back to two. It's Tunchai. It's blocked off by Rosinel. Beating the Czechs, number six in the world. And to Hamid. Just a whisker away. Well, he has been courageous and bold. That's a good ball. Oh, Czech lost it. It's in. It's Nihat. Two, two. And we could be set for penalties. How remarkable is that? Of all the goalkeepers in the world, you would never have thought it would happen. Nihat, flag stays down. Nihat! What a finish! One of the most remarkable comebacks you will ever see. Turkey have surely just put their place in the quarterfinals with two goals in two minutes that have not the stuffing out of the Czechs. The referee blows the full-time whistle. One of the most remarkable matches ever in European Championship history. Turkey looked dead.